Hello, and welcome to the Information Labs Tariff Exposure Accelerator Dashboard. We'll go over the configuration of the dashboard as well as the insights you can, you can expect to gain from it. We start with our overview dashboard. This provides a high level perspective on what's happening with our products in a particular study period, the impact of overall tariffs, and what's happening with our cost of goods and services. We see at the top tariffs in the study period versus the equivalent period prior to the start. We see our cost of goods and services. Huh, it's going down a little bit. That's good news, even though tariffs are up. And we can see which products are above a particular threshold for tariffs. More on that in a moment. On our left, we have our navigation view. Over here, we have our cost evolution, and that'll show us our unit prices for different for our goods purchased, our freight prices, and our tariff prices in the current period. And then we have products with increased tariff costs. Over here on the left are in our controls, we have our home country. Our, the home country is set in the dashboard to have tariffs of zero, and that you can set that um, as needed. You can override it to the United States or one of several other countries, and you can always edit that as needed. You can select a date part to analyze. We recommend month. What if you want to look at cost evolution on a weekly basis? or even a daily basis, you can. But again, we recommend monthly. Then we have the tariff threshold, and that feeds into the products above threshold and products of increased tariff costs worksheets. Uh, this, this band triggers if a part within the pro used in the product experienced a tariff above the tariff threshold during the study period. We can see that 96% of our products were affected by a tariff over 25%. You. Let's raise that to 50. Let's see if there's some really extreme cases here. And we can see that 59.3% of our products had a part affected by a tariff over 50 over 50 percent in the study period. An example of that is this 30-inch Edview de desktop. We can see that it had a modest increase in tariffs due to probably having a high tariff levied. Let's click and find out what we can do about that. Clicking on a product in the products with increased tariff costs worksheet takes us to the supply alternatives. We can evaluate different configurations compared to our current configuration and evaluate them for different costs. Or we can select a new product to evaluate. Let's go to the 24 inch ultra sharp desktop. This dashboard permits us to evaluate the product and a comparison metric. By default, it's set to tariffs because tariffs are what we're really interested in. And any that metric is represented in red in the bar charts, and it's also represented on the map. We can see that something going, is like going on in France. We can set it to freight as well, and it will override. And we can see the country by country and supplier by supplier differences on that front. Let's take it back to tariffs. Here is our current configuration. We have a 14 inch OLED panel, and it's affected by a pretty large tariff. We can save a tremendous amount of money by substituting this cut rate Japanese part from Rockview Technologies. We can then provide, ah, we have a keycap set. And a chassis. And we have two other parts. Now, in this case, I don't want to work with Maple, or perhaps I know that Rockview Technologies will give us a discount. So I can override and not just pick the lowest part, but I can pick this German part from Rockview. And again, even though France has higher tariffs, we can select a Rockview part. The cost of our current configuration is 163.27 but this configuration has 8380. If we make a mistake or accidentally add too many, or we want to be, in this case, instead of supporting a French part maker, we can support a Canadian one, we can remove the part that we don't want. We have tremendous flexibility to address problems based on our particular needs. Let's go to the profitability dashboard. The profitability and cost dashboard permits us to do several different analyses. 
First, it'll show us the tariff impact on our costs currently. 18.1% of our, of our costs are due to tariffs, and we can see that in the selected view. Our net profit is projected to be 300K, and our total costs are projected in this time to be 1.3 million. Just as before, we can set our home country, we can also manually set our date analysis, or if we see an interesting period, such as this part, we suddenly had a decrease in a lot of our different costs, we can select it by dragging. And that will update many different parts of our views. We have our current, current cost breakdown that shows tariffs, freight, and unit cost, and we can select the date part to analyze as before, but we have an interesting waterfall view for tariff projection. This lets us do scenario, evaluate different scenarios, showing our current revenue, our non-tariff costs, which are projected for the purpose of this dashboard to be fixed, our projected tariff costs, depending on the different scenarios, and our net profit. Over here on the right, we have products that either currently have insufficient pricing to meet our minimum profit target with our shortfalls in red, or we can evaluate whether uh, a change in our gross tariff impact will make products profitable or not. Right now, we assume no changes. But let's see what would happen to our costs if we raised them, we increased our tariffs by 50%. We can't do this on a line by line basis, but we can look at what will happen if overall we expect a 50% increase in our tariffs. So our tariff impact on costs go from 18% to 24%. Our net profit drops by 35% and our total costs go up by 8.8% versus the baseline. And the numbers change over here. Interestingly here, we see that this 24 inch ultra sharp desktop has a significant shortfall. What do I do about it? Well. The goal of this dashboard is to help solve problems. And what you can do is you can click, and it will take you to the supply alternatives dashboard, where you can go ahead and create a new configuration to address the tariff problems or find new alternatives. Thank you for looking at the Tariff Exposure Accelerator. We hope it's useful.